Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Our Tomb Kings Mortal Empires Campaign Last episode We took revenge on Sir John Atayaweld of Bretonia This episode we're going to kill him <laughs> He has nowhere to run, he's, he's stuck And I'm just going to charge on through with my chariots And Kemri and War Sphinx and destroy him. And I want Setra to do the blow himself. Look at him. And then I'm going to sail to his land and take it. <laughs> and see how he feels. But first I'm going to fate a Buna them, which will be incredible. So let's stick our carrion over here. We're going to intermingle our units. Sit them quite close together. Alright, chariots, horsemen, war sphinx, of course, casket of souls, cetera, and the, the lord. Right. Stick them there like that. You go there. You go there and pause and pause quick so you can see where you're putting your men. Um, yeah, etc. There, you there. Archers. I'm gonna stick you about here. Chariots can go in. Horsemen can go in. War Sphinx can go in. Casket of Souls can sit here. We're gonna do a bombing run on the trebuchet. Bad, she's fast and low. <laughs> Eat them. Run away. <laughs> Those guys turned around and literally just like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> They're getting eaten by giant birds. They're like, what's going on there? Okay, maybe we don't want to fight that. Let's just carry on. <laughs> All right, now we can go. Skedaddle. No, 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 no. Come on. Right. We're going to charge on in. Just for fun. Stop getting pulled back. Who are you fighting? That one got stuck on a trebuchet. Cavalry charge. I don't care about these. Cavalry. Here comes Cetra. Gonna hunt down that Lord Tailwild. Get back in. The War Sphinx can go after these archers. Where is he? Yeah, destroy them.
There he is. I don't care about my chariots. I've never really liked them. <laughs> Fate of Buna. What a terrible way to die. Right, Cetra. Spirit leech him. You shouldn't have done what you did. You're about to get spirit leeched. Kill him. I don't care what's happening with the rest of my army, if I'm honest. There he is. He's dead. You go on. They're all done for. Wow, three horsemen survived. <laughs> I just kind of let them just do their own thing. Well, there you go. We took revenge on Lord Tireworld. It was worth it. Ninety three kills. Again, the chariots do do a lot of damage. It's just they're really hard to just, you know, micromanage. Because chariots, you don't want to be stuck in combat. You want them to cycle charge. And the AI, obviously, can control every single unit perfectly um, at the same time. But humans can't. So you really have to be, like, micromanagement lords to be able to really get the most out of chariots. Which I'm not, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, you guys killed one. That's a good job. Well done. You killed 96 with that Fate of Buna. I'm not sacking my own province. Right. What do I want to build? Oh, I could build the Great Pyramid of Cetra. And I could build a new Shabti pit. But I need more money. Well, I'm taking you up to Gorgazan to... Garrison it. Alright, that's still being made. Merge. One unit, one unit would be fine. Let's get some more infantry because that's what we're lacking. And then, um, let's do that. It's going to cost us money. To garrison that building uh, province but we'll do it I'm gonna buy the building for the Yashabti though because they're gonna be really useful to have especially if I'm gonna sail away with Cetra <laughs> take their land while they have no army once it stops loading I'm not sure if I said this yet, but I hope you're having a good day. It's a Wednesday today. If you're watching this, not on a Wednesday, I hope whatever day you're on is a good one for you. It's now spring. Um, 
official British summertime has come. So that clocks actually went forward Sunday. Which could be whenever. Any Sunday in the world when you're watching this because it could be years in the future. Let's build the Yashabti pit. Where is it? Cetra, let's give you. There's something else I haven't finished off. What's the Shabti? Okay. Let's start upgrading that. Alright, that's good. Um. Let's go. You're around here somewhere, I think. Right? There they are. We're taking it. Right, we're going to take Gorgazan. Oh, I can't. Let's search the... Oh, I hate these. Throughout the old world... Throughout the world, the old ones left vast troves of power for use by their most trusted servants to prevent such power falling into blah, blah, blah. To access the old one's treasure, solve the puzzle. A die has six faces. May the fates keep them rolling high, especially if you're making a ward save. What? What? These are really like... Da, 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 da. That makes no sense. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. I have no idea how to solve those. I don't think many people do. <laughs> like, they're so obscure. What's going on there? Skaven. Uh, let's not start a war with Skaven. That's got to be Queek. Doesn't look like him though. He is getting mad attrition. Hmm. They're just raiding me. They're assholes. Ooh. Sword of Cain has been claimed. Alright, so now we've got our garrison. I need two grand. I'm just going to have to wait another turn. I mean, it's not the best garrison in the world, is it? But who are you? Oh, you're my friends, kinda. Are you my friends? You guys are. I don't think you like me because I, I'm doing some like diplomacy with Numas, who's probably. No, you're not under attack. Let the restoration commence. I don't care about military access. I just want trade. Will you please trade with me? No! Why? That was a very strong no. Like, man. Border princes don't like me anymore either. I know what you are, Desert King. No, not this. Fine. Like, come on now. We're all friends. I'm going to destroy this place. Virus. What else has he got? Hal Al Hakik. That's not right. Oh. 
Who's not moved? King Hatmus. No, that's because you've got to colonize. So I'm going to end the episode here and I will see you on the next one when this is finished.